Do you like video games? Uh huh. Do you want to go watch them in a movie? Um, not given past history. Want to go do it right now? Oh. Hi, this is Brother Sherman. We just got back from watching Wreck It Ralph. Hold me. You know, this was a genuinely good movie. Almost like a Pixar movie. What can you expect? John Lasseter was involved. Mm. I mean, I have to say I'm not a big fan of the, um, the, the two main actors involved, Sarah Silverman. I can't remember the other guy right now. I know he's done some work. Uh, he's, a, he's a comedian in his own right. He's done some fairly big movies, but frankly, he's not really one of my favorite actors, but the two of them did a remarkably good job for this movie, and uh, I was impressed. The other really main voice actor, no, I don't know him. I don't know him as an actor, but there is a guy who sounds exactly like a high-pitched Christopher Walken. Wow! Yeah, I, I, he was hilarious. It was actually really enjoyable watching him through the movie. As you just kept thinking, it that kind of sounds a bit like Christopher Walken. Um, the music was very good. It was it, very much in fitting with kind of a. Um, a video game feel, so when it was a retro game, you had a very retro feel. Modern game, modern take on it. It did a very good job. The soundtrack is excellent, and even for areas that didn't have a specific theme to it, just the overall soundtrack, excellent. It, it definitely added to the feel of the movie. Um, something else of note for the gamers out there, which is really, this was how they got parents to go. Kids wanted to go see you know, a Disney animated feature. Parents got to go and enjoy some of the old gaming highlights. This movie gives you a lot of nods, but it doesn't waste time on them. So each one is in fitting with a um, establishing shot. So you'll see characters and it's kind of great that you get to see them, but it doesn't detract from where the movie needs to go. There's a, there's a very big difference between having characters there and it's cool to see them and ooh ooh look at me I'm in this movie look at that look at that which is probably for the best that Mario wasn't actually in this movie that, that that's not a spoiler I mean you might think it is but it's not um they did a very good job of setting up a sort of 8-bit uh video game that, that hadn't been created or anything like that, that I could buy being around in 1982 yep, yep. and this movie was just likable. The characters were likable. The soundtrack was great. The, the setting was likable. I mean... But this is like... I mean, we've watched other good movies we haven't reviewed. Um, you know, because sometimes we just don't watch them in time to do one of these. This is probably like one of the really good movies I've seen this year. Like family movies that we've seen this really good this year. Um, so if you've got time, definitely go see it. it. It seems that Disney definitely has... For Disney Animated Studios, it's definitely got its flare back and get there before like you can get there after the credits like you know the opening trailers but get there before it switches over to the film there's a Disney animated short beforehand this is really good yeah. um, it's some of the best uh, animation I've seen from Disney in a while and it was actually a pretty good story too um otherwise uh, I'm Albatross I'm Snake Eyes this is the Brothers Herman and we're signing off Sugar Rush was a blatant Mario Kart ripoff. I love the Power Glove. It's so bad. Oh no.